Okay, just like the trumpet question, we could like start listing everything. The three fan the sand the, the, the fan <laughs> has three settings, off, low, and high. And you have three fans in a row because you like like sort of like different feeling depending on what part of the room you're in. I'm not sure why you would set up a room with three fans in a row. But you could list them all like we've been listing so far. But what we've been noticing in the past one and the previous one is that I've sort of been creating spaces, and those spaces, what they're going to be is for the amount of decisions we have to make. With three fans, we have three decisions we have to make. And with fan number one, that's our first decision, what number we're going to put into that space is how many choices we have for that fan. So for that one, it can be off, low, or high. We'd have three choices to go in there. And the second fan, fan number two here, also has three choices. And fan number three has three choices. And if each decision has three choices, there's going to be three times three times three, 27 different ways in total. And so if we started listing all of them, you could go off, off, off. Ooh, right? Is there any, right? You could have, eh? That will be good. Is there any other ones? Sometimes I have to be careful with these because sometimes you can spell inappropriate words. So, But yes, you list them all if you wanted, but there'd be 27 of them. So it would be a little bit annoying to list them all but you could. And one, one way to organize it, if you're trying to think of an, of an organizational way, you could look at fan number one. Fan number one can be off, low, or high. If you choose off for fan number one, fan number two can be off, low, or high. If you choose low, it can be off, low, or high. And if you choose high, the, third, the second one can be off, low, or high. So you can see that with two fans, you're at six, no, nine. You're at nine options already with two fans. And then off of each of these, there would be three. And then, oh my goodness. And this would be off, low, or high. So here is this branch from here to here to here. That's the ooh, right? And they're here, L, O. L would be right there. And if you wanted to, you could systematically go through this tree diagram and list all the possibilities. Okay, We're going to find out and we're going to call this strategy, we'll often refer to it just as spaces. It's something called the fundamental counting principle, where you put each decision you need to make as a space and the number of choices you have for each of those decisions inside and multiply them together to get your answer. And the tree diagram shows why that makes sense. Because for each choice, we have three more choices after that, and then three more choices after that for 27 in total. And listing them all wouldn't be that much fun. Uh, the questions you can do for this one, 3, 4, 6, 11, and 12. So for this one, you have security standards. You have a password that's two letters followed by five digits. And you could pick anything you'd like. All letters and digits may be used more than once. So there's no restrictions on that. How many passwords are possible? Well, to think about how many spaces we need or how many decisions, well, you have to do two letters followed by five digits. So you have to make seven decisions here. And for all permutations and combination questions in this unit, you have to have a brief explanation every single time that you do a question. Now, the brief explanation can be as brief as this. L, L, D, 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 D. Because it's obvious that I'm therefore saying that my first decision has to be a letter. 
my second decision is a letter, and then after that, my decisions are digits. So it can be very, very brief, your explanation, but just making spaces and randomly putting in numbers, if you make a little mistake and there is no explanation, then you're going to lose all the marks for that question. So for the letters, how many letters are there that we could choose from? 26. And then could go 26 again. Yes. Um, for this, they're just going to, I mean, if they wanted to say lowercase and uppercase, then you could have more. But for this question, they were just saying letters. And when they say letters, they're not going, if they want to specify between lower and upper, then they would say that in the question. So we can assume if they say letters, we'll just go with 26. Um, but that is a good point, because on passwords, if you don't have your caps lock on or something, it does make a difference. And digits, 10, right? You have to include zero, so there'd be tens all the way along here. And then you have to multiply that out, something like that, right? And the questions we can do here are 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 16 will be a bit of a challenge one. 